America is collapsing. You guys need help. We need help. You guys are good, good American working citizens, and you need help. Even Pew Pew Pow is saying that we need some more stimulus, some more stimuli. And I know this is going to be hard to believe, but not all Fed officials agree with this. We're in a debt-based monetary system. Why can't you guys agree? They say we've given more than enough, more than enough money to these Americans. And I say neither, neither, neither. Master your fate. That's what you do. You go home and you master your fate because you don't want someone else or, you know, mastering your fate. You have two choices in this world. Either you can build your dreams. Just because you build it, that does not mean that they will come. Or you can build someone else's. I prefer, that's why I have businesses, to build my own dreams. And dang you, Elon. Elon Musk. Shares fell today. Tesla. You just had to mention the whole battery thing. But I'm a swing trader. Could be a trick. Let's take a look at after hours and see when we should have bought. I teach you guys how to be swingers on this channel. Even as a little hole. You can little pop your little thing through that. We're not Robin Holders. We're Robin Swingers. And the retail apocalypse is continuing. We didn't see this happening. We did not see this. We could not even have forecasted this for the last 10 years of me doing videos. Today in my class, this is retail, right? I'm not uh, saying this is good, bad, or indifferent. I just try to put the stuff in my two brain cells and let them fight over where is the truth? Somewhere, it's always between lies, right? I was teaching my kids about passive income today. Oh, that went over real well. <laughs> uh, I'm like, guys, stop it with the go get job. The people that have passive income, those are the people that hire you. You want to be the ones that hire people, not the ones that get jobs. And that book is retail, right? But it's online. Yay! That's what you that's what you need to do. Please start an online store because places like Brooksfield Properties laying off 20% of their workforce now. And then Ralph Lauren, I do not have a Ralph Lauren shirt on, although when I was in the military, all my boys, I didn't. I, I was not part of the crew. They all got a little uh little tattoo of the little Ralph Lauren thing and I'm like I just think uh, long-term macro, I think macro, I, I don't think that's going to be a good idea. And surprise, surprise, most Americans have a very bleak view of the future of our economy. But some think it's, it's really good. Kind of like my mom back in the day. She's like, eat your spinach. It's going to be good for you. I'm like, mom, I'm Johnny Bravo. Welcome back, rock stars. And if you like breaking news, business news, stuff about Stoof, dang it, I screwed that, I screwed that word up. I am so sorry. It's 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 Stoof. It is not stuff. I don't use that. I'm gonna change the. We're changing. And you're like, wait, what are you talking about? Stoof. S T. That's Stoof. We're, we're changing the the way we use English. So if you like stock market Stoof, business Stoof, and how to protect all of your Stoof consider subscribing. And I wasn't going to do this story, but I'll make it quick, right? So we, that's what we tell our girlfriend. No, your wife, you're married. You tell your wife it promise. I, we just, I just want to snuggle. Just take, take a minute. Uh, big short 3.0. You guys want to short this market? Two thirds of us hotels say they won't last six months because they can only fill like half at the occupancy. So, uh, guess what we're going to be doing kids. Let's be uh, short in the C M B X Q R S T U V. Look, I will show you. Let me. I'm not going to explain it, but I'll show you the chart. Uh, this is what happened, and then they're like, "Oh, it's going to be fine." And then this happened, and they said, "No, it's going to be fine." And now this has been happening. So, if you guys want to pull together and maybe uh, destroy H L T H L T Hilton Il H L T, right? Isn't that Hilton? And you didn't see this one coming, and you want to know what you're seeing coming right here? Coming around the mountain when we come. This is called a death cross. 
Bye bye Look at that indicator. So get the frack out. So here, I will teach you on not how to lose a lot of money. Even though this is not financial advice, don't listen to anything I say. I'm just a cartoon character. Johnny Bravo. Don't listen. If your wife asks, be like, I listened to this cartoon character and I lost all of our money. Let me just teach you something really quick. A death cross and a golden cross, okay? This right here, right there. Death, no, that's a golden cross. See how both of the, I, and that's a really inappropriate looking, I'm just saying, right? You guys, you guys feeling me? It's more the size. Uh, this thing, that, I am not very good at my, at pointing my arrows in the proper direction. Uh, we cross that and like, yay, go ahead and buy. This is like this here. Uh, you should really consider selling or that right there or definitely that right there. Any of these, any of these are really good indicators. Now, my indicator that comes in the course, you just push a button, boom, it'll tell you so you don't get caught because we don't want you to get caught with your pantalones down when these arrows are jumping around. Look at this one right there. So this one said, get out there. Uh, this one, oh shoot, is that a death cross? or a Golden Cross performance. That's uh, a possible Golden Cross, has nothing to do with the shower. Okay, so to please do not confuse the Golden Cross and the, the one that has to do with the shower, no. Um, so even though the media says one thing, I look at charts, not the farts that come out of these people's mouths, and I bet in the direction that I know what the charts are gonna tell me. So even though everyone tells you we're going for the big short 3.0, Ah, be careful, my friends. And what the heck, Elon? That should be a, uh, that's a thing. What the heck, Elon? What did Elon say? There's actually a website. I think it's, that's what it is. What, uh, what Elon said, because so many things never come true. And that guy is just a talker. Tesla shares fall as Musk dampens battery day expectations. Uh, Tesla is expected to announce details about the new type. That's what they just did right now. Right now, they're, they're talking about it. So since you guys like uh, Tesla, here we go. Deliveries will rise 30 to 40% in 2020. Tesla announces uh, tabless battery cells that will improve range of his electronic cars. And Tesla slashes the price of power pack by 27% on battery day. So Get it while it's going good. And looking at, because it's like, that's just news. I'm going to look at this and I'm definitely going to look at after hours. My indicators. Oh, and just to let you know, the course is $1,000, but you get a discount. So when you click on the button, it'll, well, actually it won't even click. You click on the link and then it takes you to the page. And if it still says 1,000, you missed it. Come back tomorrow. If it says 200, I'd recommend you grab it. But looking at this, bye. Boom, and we're gonna ride that. But let's take a look at the one hour. And here on the one hour, you have a sell, sell, sell. This was uh, this was today. Now let's see, extended, if we're still holding that sell. Nope, it's flat, it's just bouncing around. We don't know where it's where it stops, no one knows. All I can say is don't place market orders. You don't wanna be this guy that bought it at 447, and then you're like, oh, okay, I'll get out at 411. What just happened? I just closed that window and just popped open. This is what I was actually teaching my class today at my school. I said, okay, kids, how much does this guy make? Because I have a watch that's not char that's charging right now. That's why I'm not wearing it. And they all, you all have to guess, hey, how much does this is not an Apple product. It's just an aftermarket. Newer seller, 51 ratings. How much does he make a month? Kids were like, I don't know, $100, $1,000. And I'm like, one moment, children, let me run them numbers and find out. They're like, what? This guy makes a hundred thousand, two hundred, three, four, five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Like, yes, he does. And then I showed him this is where you buy it. Look at that. You can do it too. And you change it up. You make it, I don't know, how different. Look at this thing. Yeah, that's ugly as heck. I'm gonna just say. But if you're the first one to market, hey, you too can make money. And I do have a course. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to sell, but heck, if I have it and I teach high school doing this and you want it. Link in the description. And if that's gone, that's the same same deal. $197 on how to create something because that's what you need to do. You need to start businesses. Stop it with everything else. Stop the whole job thing. The job does not make you 1%. Starting businesses make you the 1%. And then you can yell at the people, the 99% below you. And yes, I understand. I'm sure this is a flooded whatever, blah, blah, blah. But you could change it, right? You buy it for a buck. You sell it for 10 Take the nine, pay your taxes, pay whatever you need to pay. I'm helping my daughter with a clothing line that kind of reminds me of that a little bit, but. And here was another clothing line. Uh, she actually was my high school student. 
all the way, all the way through all my, uh, actually, we became very good friends. Cool brand. I'm trying to see if I have it around. I have a black one. I just minus the uh, 12 pack abs. It's cool when you have kids that go through your own, like my classroom, four years. And I'm like, hey, you should really think about doing this in China and, you know, then having it like, okay, this guy, Jake, he actually started this company. I don't know what he sold it for, like a hundred billion. Kind of nice, right? And those hoodies, I got a discount code. I'm not allowed to give it to you. Um, but yeah, you teach these people and then they go off and I'm like, oh, they actually listened. Um, not like this guy. He didn't listen to me. 138 billion bridge water set up, 50 tent. They, they, they're doing tents in the woods outside of its headquarters. I, I am so thankful. Love these people, uh, but would not want to be a hedge fund manager. I would want to manage anyone's money where it's like, okay, we're going to, you know, in the next year, let me try to guess. Boy, oh boy, uh, Ray Dalio, you have really missed it. I think he's down to close to 19% this year. And that's why it's so nice. You guys, you can manage your own money, right? You don't need to have other people do it. He can't swing trade. They can't do it. It's like, these are huge chunks. Diversify. You guys can just, whoop, you know, grab it, sell it, grab it, sell it, grab it, sell it. Nah, uh, he, this guy, he can't do that. And I actually get a lot of hate whenever I talk bad. You guys love Ray. Ray for president. I'm just saying, you know, market's up 30%. He's down 20%. And if you want to, I guess, just do whatever he does, do do the complete opposite. Look at this. Hey, and I, I get it, you guys. Please don't yell at me. Uh, he bet a billion dollars that the stock would fall last year against Tesla. I'm like, hey, Ray, don't bet against Tesla, man. I get it. I understand. Fundamentals, PE. And now hedge funds buying Tesla stock. <laughs> and then it drops. Which one, you know, like, ah, oh, this way, ah, oh, that way. I know YouTubers, too. Remember this. This is the biggest bond auction ever that just happened today. Two year, 52. Be, every, everyone wants our debt. You want to buy our debt? Everyone's buying our debt. It's huge. But if you listen to YouTubers, they're like, oh, the dollar's going to, to zero, right? Buy my gold. Link in the description. Buy my gold. So remember that. Everyone has their motives. A, 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 a fund manager. Let me manage your your money. You can't do it on your own. It's a 90 something percent failure rate. I got you. I'll lose the 20%, but they get a percentage. I know because they buy my course and they're like, I can't tell anyone, but it's really good. And it really works. I wish I could tell someone I'm probably forever going to get hate. That's what happens when you're contrarian, you go against whatever. Oh, you're going that way. I'll go the other way. The dollar, when everyone says it's all going to die. And this is, this is right where I'm like, well, these are, I think, uh, you got some good buys here. I think we're consolidating. No, no, no. All these guys I watch on YouTube says the dollar's going to go to zero. Do you see? Do you see what's happening now? We're kind of going in that way. And I hope I am never considered like a gold bull, a dollar bull, and they had no bug, no, I don't want anything. But I'll just tell you, this was where you, I can't say this is where you would buy, but this is where I would buy. And then look, here we go. And I, I could probably tell you there's a hundred stories right now on YouTube, off of YouTube, that the dollar is going to zero. And even with all these bad stories, right? They're all bad. Powell, this is the economics 101. Powell warns a recovery highly uncertain. I don't think that's just you, pew pew Powell. I think it's everyone. Argues for more aid. Okay, Fed chair and Treasury said, oh, Manucci, you guys go before the house, focus on how taxpayer money is being used. That's that's where they're going to get it. You're going to get it from you in your taxes. And I will tell you, the people are hurting. And I don't know. What do you want to do? What do you want to do with those the 50% of the population that does not have a job? You got a solution? My only solution, I, right, just let it die. Let, let the chips fall where they may. But uh, how about help these people? And while you're helping them, you can teach them how to fish. Huh? I get it. Don't give them a fish. Teach them how to fish. And that's that's what I do. Here I am. Hi. 50,000 of you that are going to watch this video. Hi, kids in the classroom. That's I am putting in my time. But if the kid's like, hey, uh, Johnny Bravo, Mr. Bravo, uh, I don't have lunch today. I'm like, okay, here. Here you go. Take some debt. Uh, go buy yourself uh, Go go buy yourself some stoof and, uh, and, then, and then come back and let me continue to teach you how to fish. What are the two things, right? 
Start a business, trade equities. I don't care if it's a recession, depression, start an online business, share your knowledge. If you're a plumber, teach people how to plumb, put it online, write a book on it, do a seminar, I'll do it because I don't know how to fix my plumbing. And this is something you'd never think you'd hear someone in the Fed say. Uh, Bulliard says, uh, U.S. has already delivered enough fiscal aid. Enough, enough for you, St. Louis President James Bullard said the U.S. economy has enough momentum. Oh, really? Okay, uh, really. Uh, to continue its recovery from the blank slump, even if Congress fails to pass additional taxpayer support. And remember, too, all the Fed can do legally, legally, is loan. That's it. I know the YouTubers, and they'll, t they'll tell you that uh, they print, 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 burr, burr, burr. They loan, loan, loan. Now, if you want hyperinflation, you break that tie between the Fed and the Treasury. And just let the Treasury just handle its stuff. Yeah, oh, poof. It'll be poof, poof, Powell if uh, they're able just to hand it out. But all they can do is loan it out. And guess what the banks are not doing? The banks aren't loaning. 99%, 99.6%. They've constricted. It's really constricted. They're not, not giving anyone loan. And that's how money is created or your stuff. And people like in the comment section, you're such an idiot. Okay, I study this stuff all day long. And a lot of the things I agree with, like you got the Peter Schiff, you got the all those people. And when you walk into a bank, right, you take out a loan and poof, money is created. Yes, I believe that. And when you pay off that said loan, poof, Money disappears, and there will never be enough. Everyone's chasing these things because then you have interest. You got a $2 bill, you got a $1 bill, and people chase it. It's worldwide chasing that. It's like musical chairs, too. They keep removing chairs, and that's why you have to work harder and harder every single day because they keep removing the chairs. And I'm sorry, there's nothing to fix it. It's called a debt-based system that uh, makes the rich richer. As you guys can see, the biggest transfer of wealth in the history of humankind is happening right before your eyes. And you didn't even know it was happening. But 1%, they're eating it all, all the way down. That's why 1% own 50% and 50% own 1%. Do the math. And then everyone argues about this stuff and mass and, you know, that, that you're going to have some king that's going to fix it or some queen. Let's vote this king in and let's vote this queen and then they'll fix it. You can't. The system can't be fixed. It's That's the way it is. It is a credit-based system that enslaves its people to serve the ones at the top, surf, uh, and they don't even know. They can't figure it out. They're like, why? Why do I have to get two jobs now? Why does everyone have to work? And I drive for Uber. Now I have Lyft. And then the government goes, oh, hey, look, two jobs just got created. You're like, no, I just switched my sign. And then coming in from, you said you go get a, go to, go to school, get a degree, go to college, go into debt work a job. I don't work. I don't work jobs. Yes. I'm a high school teacher. I don't have to, but I do it because I really care about the kids and who else is going to tell them about this stuff. Brookfield property retail arm is laying off. What people that have degrees and go and get jobs. That would be not the 1%. That would be the people that have work. I'm supposed to go to work. 20% of this workforce as it hits the malls, as if you didn't see this coming a decade ago, when I was selling on Amazon, I knew when Steve Jobs held up the iPad, I'm like, ooh, there goes my book sales. And in 2007, I was doing more money on Amazon selling books. And I knew it. I knew it when he held up that iPad. I'm like, dang you, Steven. And I had to pivot. I'm like, okay, uh, what do I do next? And I used to take this thing out and go scan. I teach the kids. And it would say in my ear what it would sell for. This was before anyone knew about online arbitrage, all this kind of crazy stuff. And then I did a course on it. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, I'm making so much money. Then I realized I need to create my own product and not sell someone else's product and light bulbs and the money. And that that's when I really figured it out. So instead of working for Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren to cut thousands of jobs and beef up oh, what? Online business. No, say it isn't so. Are you kidding me? You're really going to do that to us? And I say, like I tell all my kids, I have six daughters, one of them starting a clothing line. Another one I'm going to have start a clothing line online. And it's it's dope, I have to say. Shout out to Lexi. Your uh, your brand's rocking. And then she's going to she's create, she created a website and she has influencers and people are going to buy her stoof. 
And then she's going to say, hey, I don't really have to go work at Ralph Lauren from nine to five. I get to do my own thing. Exactly what I said before. Master your fate. Don't build someone else's dream. Build your own. Or just keep doing what, you know, grandpappy told you and pull your boots up by the straps and stop feeling sorry for yourself. And I don't know what all my teacher friends are going to do when all their pays get cut and everyone's cut and... Oh, most Americans have a bleak view of the economy. A new poll found that 60% of Americans describe the national economy as poor. 40 of you said it's good. All right. Well, come on out here to here. It looks like, uh, it looks like Southern California. I'd say there's the beach right there. If I can zoom in on that. That to me looks like Santa Monica, if, if I can see that. Ah! Or I could just not be a complete idiot and look at the word Santa Monica Boulevard. Oh, and then that restaurant for lease. Oh, yeah, let's go buy brick and mortar. That uh, That's really going to work in your favor. Man, when I owned my own brick and mortar, I had one of those. I had the biggest day spas in my city. 40 employees. It was crazy. Made no money. And I'll tell you, this isn't going to get any better. I've been saying it. Can't pay it off. It's not even po It's not possible. Any politicians like, let's pay down the national debt. You can't. It's with interest. It's it's debt. If you pay off the debt, it doesn't exist. It's debt that you guys are using. No one understands it. Uh, but what you don't want to what you want to see happening is U.S. debt to GDP at thirty four percent. You don't want to see one hundred and thirty six percent, and you don't want to see oh, everything right. Student loan debt now what is it almost at two trillion? How much do you owe as a taxpayer? Uh, you owe two hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. Try to try to pay that one off. And guess what? It's not going down. It's only going to go up because it's a debt-based, credit-based system. But what you can do is said, make said most stoof, sell it, and then go, oh, I had to buy a car, a cell phone. I had to go to Hawaii and meet with the distributors and write it all off. And it's called expenses. And then you don't have to pay this said tax if you can use it as your business. It's called a write-off or an expense that they don't give you when you have a job. And darn you, if you laughed one time, you owe it to me, right? Nah, you don't owe me anything. You don't have to click it. Don't worry about it. I'll see you tomorrow.